everyone. <laughs> yes, you're listening to build business, business podcasting made easy, <laughs> the TV talk show formula where you get a roadmap to elevate your authority and expand your visibility with a TV talk show that you're proud of. And you're listening on the IBGR radio network. This is episode six. And today we're talking about ooh, how to make friends with your inner TV talk show critic. Mm -hmm. So it stops sabotaging <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm Donna Cundy, co-founder of the IBGR network, global radio authority and podcast expert, and the producer of over 14,000 podcasts. <laughs> and I'm Declan Osagara, TV producer and international TV talk show host. And my TV talk show formula has impacted over, I was going to say inspired, that too, over yeah, sure. 100,000 <laughs> lives globally and gives business owners and entrepreneurs a simple way to be seen and heard with their own purpose-driven message. And we are your hosts for this 13-week journey. So remember that you can easily follow the plan at tvtalkshowformula.com. And if you want direct life support, from us for your biz business TV talk show, then contact us today at tvtalkshowformula.info. <laughs> yes, and you just never know what's going to come out of our mouth. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so you can do a show and do all of that stuff, and it's no, no, we're we're alive. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I think it's so funny before we get into our quote this morning that I, it, the same thing happened last season when I was doing the influencers formula with Ben Joya, the the, oh, yeah. the book, book book coach extraordinaire. And that was the one episode where we were so talking about getting everything right, that everything <laughs> came out of our mouth. Was, and, and, and I think it's, this is a perfect setup for this week as well. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. For what we're going to talk about. Um, yeah. we, couldn't have, we couldn't have scripted it this way. <laughs> yeah. Right on it, you know, I, <laughs> When when I started doing my other podcast, building success habits, when that started coming out of my mouth, I'm like, oh, we, we should we should go back, we should redo this, we should re edit it out, we should do. It. And I'm like, no, this is live. This is what you get. Yeah, <laughs> it's exactly. all part of it. It's all part of it. A TV that that little critic in in everyone's head is <laughs> is real, guys. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. So, well. I uh, we have good. we have a good you have a good story to to to, yeah. to, to yeah. talk about today um, and to set up the story the real story yeah. of the two wolves the quote is that he who has peace inside has everything he who harbors a storm within his heart and soul has nothing and welcome to the show <laughs> welcome yes yeah, this is a light topic today <laughs> i know yeah yeah so why is this so, important <laughs> So why, how is how is this idea of uh, your becoming friends with your inner critic, um, which I always think of as the subconscious mind? Mm -hmm. um, how is this important to becoming a person worth watching? You're asking me. I'm asking <laughs> you. Yes. <laughs> Who else is well, <laughs> yeah, like you said, becoming a person, per person, <laughs> person worth. <laughs> I got it. Okay. Focus. This is Becoming. the one we win the award for. This is the award winning episode. <laughs> and I'd like to thank. No. The Be Academy. Yes. <laughs> Becoming a person worth watching whose inner critic, that subconscious mind is working with you instead of against you is why we want to do this one. Because like I had mentioned before, everyone has that little voice. Everyone has that little voice in, in our head, that subconscious mind, that other part of us that mm -hmm. is the critic and critic. And so you want to continue to get behind the camera, even when you don't want to, even after times where you go, oh my gosh, what just happened? Even when that <laughs> voice is so big and loud in your head, okay. you, you really want to become a, that person worth watching by making friends with that inner TV talk show critic your subconscious and mind. this episode <laughs> is a perfect example because I, I i don't know i think i think you're the same way like we like to get things right we like to seem <laughs> yes. professional and you know make a good example and and we're making all of these what some people would call you know little mistakes and we're stuttering over our words and it's truly this is not planned <laughs> no <laughs> it's just how the happening. universe shows up <laughs> exactly we're just gonna, just gonna mess with you guys um and here we are anyways still 
do it, you know, delivering what we're here to deliver. And I think it's just the perfect example of when you are friends with that inner critic, because I know that mine, and I'm sure yours is too, going like, oh my God, wait, stop wait, it. Wait, you know, wait, 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 danger, danger. Start over, <laughs> delete, you know, do this one again. You know, we can't, right? But we're we're moving forward anyways, and we're we're confident enough in ourselves and at peace with with who we are and what we do and 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 what we're here to do to help you, those of you watching and listening to this, uh, that we can keep going forward. And so even though there is that voice saying, oh my God, this is, what, what is going on? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, there's the other voice saying it's perfect. Everything's fine. This is, this is what allows us to say, what a great example <laughs> yeah. of how to keep going forward, even though there's that part of you that's saying something's not going according to plan. <laughs> so. <laughs> and it's it's really about whose plan, you know, whose, whose plan mm. is it? There's, there's what you think is what should happen. And there's what is right. going to, what is happening. And I always tell people, and then they give me this puzzled look that everything happens exactly like it should, or it would happen differently. <laughs> I love, I love <laughs> you say that. Yeah. <laughs> and, and this is something that I talk about um, when I teach video, um, I talk about the three C's of camera confidence, and one of them is control. And being in control, part of that is knowing that sometimes things are just going to go out of control and being like right now, <laughs> like, you know, in our view, because we've like stumbled over some words and it's like, oh, what's happening? It feels like something's not in control. But uh, because I know that anything could happen uh, and th that that's okay that what I'm here to do is more important and what we have, the message that we have for you is more important. Um, I've already planned for it mentally that, well, if this happens, my choice is to give up or to keep moving forward because I, which one am I gonna choose? I already know I'm gonna move forward, right? And so that's what, that's what this being at peace with the inner critic is, is all about, is just knowing what is the choice you're going to make ahead of time. Because you never do know when, the lights all go out or the, the Wi-Fi <laughs> stops working or, or you stumble over every other word. <laughs> yeah. 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 I've had tornado sirens go off all of this. So well, what else Declan do we want our listeners to know? Ah, let's see. All right. So you <laughs> often it will be the, your most harsh critic, right? You talk, we often talk to ourselves so much harsher than we would ever allow anyone else to speak to us. And so you, you got to stop that. <laughs> we, have to, we have to not, not do that and learn it to, to become, you know, kind to yourself and, and know that sometimes things may not go according to how you think they're supposed to go, uh, but it's going the way it's going. So just don't waste the time on beating yourself up about it. And I don't know, I know it's really corny, but the make lemon, what do you say? Lemonade, lemonade. out of lemons. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. That like, you know, how do you, you got to learn how to just go with the flow and do that versus breaking yourself down and, you know, beating yourself up about it. Yeah. Yeah. Cause everybody has an ego hundred percent. And, and it's that, it, that's what, what the inner critic is, like you say, and it, yeah. it wants to just keep us safe in our comfort zone. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, and we have permission to embrace all aspects of our being and allow them to coexist like yin, yin yang, yin, yin yes. yang, yin yang, yin yang. <laughs> it's a fun, <laughs> fun, fun. Um, I, I, I have a story that I want to share and it's about the two wolves before I do though, I, I do want to, uh, invite everyone who is listening to subscribe to this show at TV talk show formula.com. So you never miss an episode. This is, uh, episode six out of 52 we have a lot of little stepping stones along the way so be sure to subscribe at tvtalkshowformula.com and if you want more direct support if you want any kind of direct support from us for your tv talk show then you can contact us at tvtalkshowformula.info and um i think that leads into this yin yang the story of two wolves there's a lot of people who've heard about this one declan it's it, yeah. they they attribute it to cherokee I'm not exactly sure, but they say a Cherokee elder was talking to his grandson about a battle that rages inside of us. And 
it's uh, about good and evil, peace and joy and love and hope versus all of the evil, anger, envy, sorrow, regret, these two sides of our emotion and, and our being. Yeah. And then the grandson that he's talking to his his grandfather, he said, which one, which wolf wins? He's it's like the white wolf and the black wolf, they talk. Uh, which wolf wins? And in the traditional one that most people have heard of, the grandfather says the one that you feed. And so when we're talking about feeding the wolf, there's you you think you're going to starve the other one, and most people right. immediately think I'm gonna I'm gonna feed the white wolf the good one, right. right? And but there's another version of the story. They say this is the real version, and and the response from the grandfather instead of the one you feed says, if you feed them right, they both win. You see, if you only feed the white wolf, the black wolf will hide in the dark waiting for me to falter so that I can pounce and get the attention that it craves. He will always be angry and will always be fighting the white wolf. But if I acknowledge them both, both he and the white wolf can be satisfied and we all win because the black wolf has the qualities that the white wolf lacks, which is your tenacity, courage, fearlessness, strength of will and resourcefulness, which are all the things that you need to get behind the camera and push the button. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then the white wolf has compassion, caring heart and ability, which is your message. So feed them both. Yeah, I love that. Actually, I hadn't heard that the true ending until I met you. <clears throat> I only had heard the other side, you know, and and it was really great to hear this alternate option because that makes so much more sense for me because it is about balance and, and being 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 uh, in tune with the two the the various pieces of ourselves and uh, learning how to work with them instead of thinking that there's something wrong. Yeah. So we're starting mm -hmm. to wrap up this episode, Declan. What do we want our listeners to do? What 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 do they want them to do, and what action do we want them to take? Okay, so we would invite you to really start to notice, pay attention to the self talk um, that's going on. It's always going on. <laughs> if you just listen, uh, it's you're probably listening to it more than you realize. So now you want to you know, kind of pull out a bit, if you will, and 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 consciously become aware of how you're speaking to yourself and noticing how much of it is negative or harsh or um, kind of degrading to yourself, right? And then we would like you to rephrase it or reframe it. And it's helpful to write down. You might even do this for one hour. It's a good challenge to do it for an entire day, but I would start, start for one hour and notice every time you have a thought that is like where you're beating yourself up, right? And it might include sometimes curse words towards yourself, or mm -hmm. it might just be like, oh, I'm so this, or I'm so that, or you, th there you go again. These things happen, so write it down. And once you've written it down, you can, you can then really easily rephrase it. So turn it into something positive. How could you say that in an affirming way instead, or maybe eliminate it altogether? Yeah. And that's where we got to stop because we're out of time. We want to go yes. deeper with you, but this is episode <laughs> six, how to make friends with your inner TV talk show critics. Stay with us. We got more coming.